location is that, that needs a ticket, um, we have an extra. Hi, I'm Randy Hansen with NCTV. We're here at the Beckett Theater in Grass Valley, and we're going to be interviewing Michael Moore in a couple hours. So stay tuned. Cable television. Yeah, it's NCTV. NCTV. Uh, we're here with Randy, uh, who I've asked to come on the show today. Randy, how's it going? Oh, well, pretty good. Yeah, yeah. How's life here, here in Nevada County? Well, it's uh, you know I like it up here. I, I I'm a transplant from LA. Uh -huh. That was a transplant from Washington State, in uh -huh. Spokane. I grew up up there. You grew up in Spokane. Yeah. Wow. So I pretty much, uh, you know, I like to I like the Four Seasons. It makes right. makes time go slower than. Right. Than up here in LA, where it's 80 degrees. Now, aside from the weather, though, why are you here in Nevada County? Uh, well, originally I came up here. A friend of mine had some money, and we were going to buy and sell houses. This was like 14, 15 years ago. Right. He basically decided to go back to LA, and I decided to stay here. And uh, and, and you still do that, buy and sell houses? No, 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 no. no. He, he, I ended up with a store. I had a store for about 14 years. I closed it like three years ago. Oh, you did. Got to where I couldn't handle it anymore. And now. I basically work with uh, NCTV, and I also do the only local news uh, in in the county, GBTV News. Right. It's the only on TV, and I'm on five days a week. Right. To do that. Because now some people watching this may not know that uh, Nevada County does not have its uh, a television station that's based here, right? Well, it's we a do. very large. We have NCTV. No, but I know other than this. Right. I mean, it doesn't have. There's no NBC, ABC, CBS uh, right. affiliate yeah. here. Um, and Nevada County covers a huge area from here all the way up to Tahoe and Truckee yeah, and, and, and that region. And we also were on the internet now, so we stream live on the internet at in NevadaCountyTV.org. Right. So, so for actual local news that, is, that relates specifically to this area, um, we have uh, NCTV. And GVTV News. And, and, G, and what now? And G? GVTV News. What is GV? Oh, Grass well, Valley, Valley TV News. Grass Valley so TV so News. It's basically the part of NCTV. Now, does anybody ever ask you if NC, and when they see, because we usually hear NC with the movies, NC-17, that's, you know, the old <laughs> yeah, X-rated. No. Do you ever get that? Do people, like, tune in thinking this is a porn station because it says NCTV? Is that... <laughs> Ever happen? I, not that I know of, but I mean, it's always a possibility. Yeah, yeah. So you, there is a possibility that someone is sitting home right now in their underwear watching you and I. Yeah. And they very well could be, and yes. they'd be very disappointed. <laughs> yes, they're probably thinking, I'm never going to have sex again. <laughs> Turn this channel off. All right, well, well I just want to thank you for coming here today. <laughs> And, well, I uh, don't get to ask you any questions. Oh, did you want to ask me something? Okay, sure. Well, I thought I might ask right. a couple yeah. of things. Okay. I mean, I know that uh, right now that with uh, Occupy Wall Street and full uh, pursuit of yes. uh, changing our uh, 
structure here. I was just wondering if, if you had a message out there for the uh, younger people that really in the last few years, there's been so much stuff going on. It's just it's doom and gloom all the time. And it just seems like people don't have a chance to really look at where's the bright side of all this. It's just always that way. And it, it seems like their, their outlook in life is going to be so, I mean, we had it in the 60s with the uh, anti-war for a, a certain period, but not like right. now, where it just seems to be getting more and more of a buildup. And I was wondering if you had some kind of, uh, uh, so, something that's not doom and gloom, of what we can, uh, you know, what what is it that we can do that, that would make this happen, okay. whatever we're gonna do, that wouldn't be so. Uh, well, first of all, <clears throat> I don't have an ounce of doom or gloom in me. I'm very optimistic right now. I'm very happy with what I see happening. I mean, you have a movement taking place, spreading like wildfire across the country right now, the Occupy movement. Um, it is bringing all kinds of people together on this one particular issue, which is that we the people need to control Wall Street, not Wall Street controlling us. And um, now what does that mean in specifics? Well, it means a whole bunch of things. It means different things sometimes to different people. But I think most people agree that taxes have to be raised on the wealthy. Uh, we need very strict regulations of Wall Street that, that were taken away that no longer exist. Um, we need to have a say in our economy. You and I need to, you can't call this a democracy just because we get to vote for politicians. If we don't have a democratic economy, then it's not a democracy. Because the economy really is about, that affects our daily lives. How we're going to live, how we're going to function. So um, we need to get control of that. And then that can happen in any of a number of ways. But, you know, we have to take action. Well, I, you know, I'm sort of been all over the map. You know, I was born and raised sort of a Democrat Kennedy days, and and then a lot of the values and things that were back in the '60s. It seems like it's changed a lot, and now it, I've I've done a lot of things where I'm sort of not exactly as far to the left as I used to be. So I'm sort of like center wing or whatever you call it. No, I just said. You know what I mean? What happened to you? I don't know what happened. I, I, you know, I, I look at the situations out there like uh, you know, printing money and just keep printing it, inflating the dollar to well, it's worth nothing. Uh, uh, raising the amount of uh, what people earn to the point where nobody can afford to hire the people anymore. So now they're going to other countries, and then the other countries, it's like we're losing our workforce, and then the people here don't have a job. And it seems to me that it's a lot of it has to do with. Uh, 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 how, how much government we have. And so even though, you know, I happen to sort of watch channels that most people don't, <laughs> like Fox, I watch that sometimes. And, and so I sort of, I'm not really what, I, mean, what I, I used to be like. I mean, I, I just sort of, I listen to that side, and I, I don't just close it off anymore. I used to close it off and not even, I just think they were like ridiculous. So now you've started to listen to Fox and you've started to think, well, some of that makes sense. Well, some of it does. I mean, I believe in fiscal responsibility. I believe that, that we shouldn't... Well, that wouldn't, be the, that wouldn't be the conservatives or the Republicans. Because they racked, they racked up the national debt here on us during Bush. They, they inherited a surplus right. from Clinton. And then they spent the surplus and, and drove us into a debt that our grandkids will be paying. Well, with. that's exactly the point. I mean, it, when, when, when uh, Hillary was running against Obama, and I was a big Clinton supporter, and I voted for Clinton, I mean, for uh, Hillary. Hillary. Yeah. And then Hillary didn't make it, and I wasn't really an Obama supporter. I didn't like McCain, uh, but I liked Palin, just because she seemed to move more forthright. Like now, you right, like, right you now like, I, like, I like Cain. You like, you like, like Cain. You like Palin because she was more forthright. I mean, well, I like, it's like with her, it's like what you see is what you get, right? Well... She's more, kind of yeah, I just felt there. I felt more like like that she had taken on the uh, the older Republicans in in uh, Alaska and had uh, sort of she wasn't in, in there she knocked them off I mean they, she put them out and she got in I mean that was to me that was she I didn't feel like she was like uh, like a wolf in sheep's clothing or something right. I mean I didn't think she was like that I felt I felt when I listened to her that she was sincere about what she felt mm -hmm. so I I didn't I sort of like trusted her sort of like. Herman Cain on the Republican side now, I trust him because he's a businessman, not a politician, and when they ask him a question, he answers the question. He doesn't give a soundbite. 
See, I don't like people that politicians are right. politicians. Right. I, I just don't believe in politicians, right or left. Right. Uh, when I take those tests, you know, when you go to these places where you take the test, yeah. and they tell you, uh, oh, uh, you know, I end up sort of like in the libertarian, but but on the democratic side, of the libertarian thing. So I guess my thinking, and I don't know why, because I remember in the 60s, I was handing out pamphlets for the SDS. It is, because you turned on Fox News. I don't know. I mean, I, I, I like Bill O'Reilly. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't really like Sean Hannity. I, right. I, I, I like Greta Van Susteren, but I like Geraldo too. See, so I, but I don't just listen to that channel. I listen to Al Jazeera. I listen to. Uh, yeah, you listen to everything. Uh, but I don't listen. Yeah, I listen to everything. Mm -hmm. And so I don't, I don't come. I just don't feel uh, radical anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't. But so you're hot for Sarah Palin, though. Well, I like Sarah Palin. I, yeah. I, yeah. Maybe, maybe it has nothing to do with politics. I don't know. Maybe it's maybe the people that tuned into this channel. <laughs> I think the people who were expecting NC17 <laughs> but got NCTV. It's now been revealed that uh, <laughs> you have a thing for Sarah Palin, <laughs> a certain fantasy that if you're willing to explore it here on cable television, we can we can listen to you. Well, uh, I don't know uh, if it was really that. I, I, but I. Well, but come well, on, admit it. She's hot. Come on, she's uh, she's hot. Well, yeah, she's all right. Yeah, I mean, I, but that's not. I've never ever. I mean, if you're going to pick somebody that looks presidential. Yeah, that's like, what you want. Like, like, well, no, if you look at somebody right now in a race that looks presidential, and you look at Mitt Romney with his yeah. silver hair, I mean, he, he, looks like a a yeah. he looks like a president in a movie. Yeah. But whether, you know, his, what he thinks about isn't something I would do. Okay, well, listen, um, I really want to thank uh, everybody for tuning in to NC17 TV <laughs> uh, here in Nevada County. Uh, we've been talking with Larry. Uh, <laughs> the Herman Cain uh, supporter. Oh, uh, Larry. Uh, 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 Randy. Uh, Randy. Randy. Oh, you're Randy. Yeah. I'm no, Randy. you were Randy when well, you yeah, were. Well, yeah, but I wear a different hat. So <laughs> when you're, when you were a lefty, you were Randy. But now. Now I'm Larry, like the now the, guy. Now that you're. That guy? Uh, which guy? Wasn't that Larry the. Oh, the cable guy. The cable guy. The cable guy, right? guy yeah. I like the cable guy now. Now you're more like Larry the cable guy. <laughs> I'll start singing Western songs. And, uh, and I'm yes. Stuck and, I'm stuck. and you're going to. And you you need to run the Herman Cain campaign here. For but Nevada I support. I, I, I actually, I'm on, I get your letters and I read all your stuff too. Yeah. So it's yeah. not like I'm Stop confused. reading it. It's, it's, well, no, no I mean, I'm, I'm asking you. No, no help. don't read. You're asking for help. I knew that, I knew that my appearance here was a, a silent <laughs> plea on your part for some sort of help. Well, and, I mean, it, you know, do you just need a hug? Is that what it is? Yeah, <laughs> you know, because I, I can give you a hug, and uh, I'll, I'm just going to just beat the Herman Cain right out of you. <laughs> oh. but, you but you can still eat pizza. But oh, I have I have one other request. Oh, okay. That you could say that I'm Michael Moore and you're watching GVTV News, because uh, I use promos like that in front of my news every time I do. Yeah, it. I don't I don't do but, those. But I have I don't do no, those but listen, what I got yeah. cool. yeah. all right. Yeah, Amy great. Oh, okay. Well, that's good, isn't it? Clint yeah. Walker. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah. Well, Clint okay. Walker? I don't yeah. know. Well, he's a, you know, Cheyenne. You know, oh, that Clint Walker. That, yeah. Is he, he still alive? Yeah, he's 85 years old. Oh, my he's, goodness. He lives here. And, and this, he lives here? Clint yeah. Walker lives here? Wow. Yeah, he's, he's like, and he's still like... Old Yeller. Remember that movie? Oh, yeah. That, I, I, you know what? Uh, when I went to that, yeah. the, the line was two, two ways yeah. around the whole thing. And after I watched it, I cried for like a minute. Oh day. my God! And I've never been able to watch it again. I've no. never watched that. I can't watch it. It's traumatic. Awesome. Okay. Well, they're giving us the big high five here. So from the Vanna Union High School, <clears throat> we've been here with Randy, who's going through a lot of personal problems right now, <laughs> and uh, he uh, he loves the Sarah Palin in the love sort of way, and uh, but he thinks Herman Cain should be our next president. And uh, I'm just going to go home tonight and. Have a nightmare about that. So, <laughs> thank you very much for being on my show. Thank you. We'll see you next week when we visit the cannabis growers of Placer County. Thank you, and good night from NC17 TV.